a day at Bank OZK Arena. Westmore, Nick Walters with you. Four state championship games down. and It was North Little Rock night tonight. North Little Rock boys, North Little Rock girls playing for a state championship. Yeah, for the boys, it really felt like a moment of culmination. Ever since Nick Smith moved in, we've called them the best team we've ever seen in Arkansas high school basketball. Two McDonald's All-Americans on the same team, but could they wrap it all up on top? And a hot Bentonville team. Bentonville making a run through the tournament to get to the finals. Let's take a look at the action. Five-star future hog Nick Smith wants to end his high school career with a ring. Top-ranked Charger Wildcats facing off with Bentonville, and North Little Rock gets a wake-up call right after tip. Tigers drill a three to start the scoring and knock down the and one basket. NLR down 6-0 to start off, but they get back on track and fast. Charles Maris is good from downtown, and the McDonald's All-American gets on the board. Driving, shooting, and draining. Nick Smith bullies his way inside, gets the whistle, and kisses it off the glass. North Little Rock leads by one in the first, but Bentonville staying feisty as Jalen Lee floats it over Khalil Ware. Smith turns on the Jets, his shot's off mark, but the ball finds its way back to him so he can put it back. Ware, the Oregon signee, uses that seven-foot frame to his advantage right there, and Ware again cleaning up the mess with a slam. NLR leads by seven early in the second, and the Razorback signee extends it. Smith from deep, that hits bottom of the net. Charging Wildcats fired up after a slow start, but after Ware gets in foul trouble, Bentonville comes back the trail by just three. Smith shows off the ball handling, playing hopscotch, and with the touchdown low, makes it fall. North Little Rock caps off the first half on the right note, clicking on offense. Maris sinks the baseline triple. He likes that spot, so Smith dishes cross court. Maris lets it fly, and it rattles home. Charging Wildcats hit halftime, up by five, and they take that momentum into the second, leading by 11 after three, and ultimately winning 65-47. to 47. As North Little Rock goes back to back as 6A state champs. I'm a champ now, baby. And Nick Smith will hit the hill on top. Yeah, we talk about the stars of North Little Rock, but it was Maris in the first half and Felix Wade in the second half. Three straight threes, three trips, bang, 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 nine yeah. points, and that was it. That, that took the lead up to about 20 points in North Little Rock rolls. Yeah, unexpected stars coming up big in the biggest of moments. Now North Little Rock, they went undefeated in conference play, rolling through the postseason, and now Nick Smith gets his first state championship. Khalil gets his second in two years. What a way to cap it off for a historic team. Johnny Rice gets a state championship. What about Daryl Fipple, Fipple and the girls. Could they get a state title? Let's take a look at those highlights. Vandy signing Amari Williams and North Little Rock going up against Fort Smith Northside for the 6A girls title. And the Charging Wildcats are electric in the first. April Edwards from long range. That's a splash. Destin Duckworth taps it away and she's going the other way. Drawing attention, drawing the foul, and she has a basket and a trip to the strike. And Alar starts this one on a 14-2 run. As Duckworth calls back forward, it makes it fall from deep. But late in the first, Northside starts climbing back. Haitiana Relaford uses the glass for a score. Ashaya Harris takes the long pass, fakes, and drives in for the layup. Grizzlies down six after the first, and they keep firing. Harris with the corner tray, and she's on the money. Charging Wildcats up just three and in a drought, but they make it rain and go on another run. Kamaya Brown with a baseline triple, she knocks it down. Brown getting hot in the second, trying to the other corner, and with the same results. Brown's got range, but she also is strong in the paint. Coming in hot for the putback, North Little Rock up 11 and keeping it with the hot hand. Kamaya Brown again from beyond the arc, and she nails another. Brown's feeling it, and so are these charging Wildcats. Up 14 late in the second. Duckworth driving from the top of the key, gets a whistle, and has another and one basket. Duckworth coming in for a floater, and that would put North Little Rock up by 18 at half. Time. The Charging Wildcats would use that early edge and hold on later to win 60-38 as North Little Rock sweeps the 6A Basketball State Championships. And the North Little Rock girls have their own star, Amari Williams, heading off to Vanderbilt. But it was the team that won this championship. I talked to Amari after the game, and she said, you know what, they were double-teaming me, triple-teaming me. They've been doing it all year, but my teammates came through when I needed them. Yeah, they sure did. It's a great day to be a charging Wildcat, put simply. And you know, they did complete the sweep. Last year, Jonesboro did just that, and this year they had the chance to do it yet again. All right, let's see if Jonesboro could do what North Little Rock did. The top-ranked team in 5A, Jonesboro, looks to go back-to-back, -back, going through Marion to do so. 
and the Canes were imposing their will early on. Patriots with 11 turnovers in the first half, and here's one of them. Jesse Washington cruising in for an easy bucket. Jonesboro goes up by 21 in the first as Oklahoma State signing Keon Williams puts back the missed shot. Marion tries to stop the bleeding and cuts the deficit to 17 at the quarter break, but Jonesboro keeps their foot on the gas. Amarion Wilson with the nifty find, Kayvon Pointer turns it into points. Williams gives it up, James Blair crashing in and drawing contact, count the end one basket. Hurricanes roll into half, up by 21 points, as Phil Tillman is good from beyond the arc. Jonesboro leaves no doubt in this one, going on to win 55 to 28, earning their second straight title in 15 all time. As for the girls in 5A, defending champ Jonesboro looking for a repeat, but finding themselves down by six in the fourth. North Texas signing Ariana Hardaway hits the three to cut the deficit to three. Top ranked Greenwood not giving up their lead though. Anna Trusty gets the floater to go. Defenders bite on a double team. Pass goes down to Abby Summit. She fakes and scores. Hardaway helping the Hurricanes fight back, drilling another triple as Jonesboro trails by two with two minutes left. But the Bulldogs add to that edge. Summit plays quarterback, breaking the press with a long ball as Carly Sexton is all alone for the lay-in. After free throws add some cushion, Greenwood goes on to win 60-49, to earning the program's sixth all-time title. There you go, four games today, but we got eight more to go. You got eight more in you? I think so. All right, we'll be back here tomorrow at <laughs> Bank OZK Arena with four more games. That'll wrap it up from here. Stick around. We'll be right back.